Today is the day it has arrived. As you can see behind us, we got the daddy of everything. The weekend is here. Halloween Horror Nights Hollywood. I'm interested to see how they do things here on the West Coast. I've heard some good stuff about this year. We're gonna see how good it is. Are I'm you excited? excited? Yeah. I'm excited, I'm excited. Yeah, the yes. lady at breakfast told us she went the other day, yeah. told us her favorite house. I'm ready to check it out. Yep. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go. So they actually have some uh, food dedicated to killer clowns. They actually have some decent, weird stuff here. We have an acid pie shake, popcorn shake. We got cotton candy, ice cream cones, but it's all decorated to uh, killer clowns. And across the street, killer clowns or killer barbecue from outer space. This is a nice food tent. Actually getting on board just like Orlando. So. Loaded mac and cheese, you got pulled barbecue, you got 22 inch hot dog, brisket sandwich, seasoned fries, unlike the pizza fries, but these are seasoned. But you got the acid pie shake and killer funnel fries, which actually sounds really, really good. I might try those tonight, maybe. But yeah, that is just some of the stuff they have here dedicated to Halloween Horror Nights. So to the left of Transformers is actually where the weekend goes. Way back there is where we're going to first start our Halloween Horror Nights house. Everyone has been recommending to do this first. So of course, we're going to do this one first. But over here to the right of Transformers is Killer Clowns. That's where you're going to head that way to do that one first. Oh, 
Não, sim, sim, sim. We're gonna do Monsters Legends Collide. out of Legends Collide, Universal Monsters Legends Collide. Wow, that was a really good house. Good walkthrough, good effects. Wow. Uh, April, what do you think? It was so, so good. It was so detailed. It reminded me a lot of uh, the Frankenstein versus Wolfman house that they had in 2019 where there was a lot of detail and it was just really good. All right, so we are heading up to the upper lot, we're gonna do all the upper mazes. So Halloween, uh, Scarecrow the Reaping, we got La La Rona, and some scare zones, which would be interesting to see. But also look at this staircase, it freaks me out. All right, so we are here in Hogwarts and they actually have the Death Eaters here, which is gonna be interesting. We actually get to see them. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. What? Oh, that's so cool. Have you never seen them before? I saw them in ours, but it's not as good as this one. Oh, I definitely would love to come through here. Whoa. Oh, shit. 
it's definitely not like this at ours. Well, this is like almost like a scare zone. Okay, that, that was dope. <laughs> oh, that was freaky. Oh, shoot. Oh, God, they're everywhere. Oh, wow. Oh, God. <laughs> Ooh. They're actually doing projections on the castle. Not the show, but just uh, doing projections up there. So we're doing Halloween. There it is. I'm ready. And this is a kind of situation here. They built this in a tent on a parking lot. You can see all the queue space they have lined up, ready to go. He locked up because I realized the boy was living behind that boy's eyes was beautiful. Oh, so All right, so Halloween was far better than ours. Uh, sets are not as big, but there was some good scares in there. Oh my God, Michael Myers is like gruesome in that house. He attacks you, like he appears out of nowhere. Um, really stellar house comparison to ours. Uh, up next, we're doing Scarecrow. I'm excited to see how that one's gonna go because I love Scarecrow over in Orlando. So we're gonna see how it holds up here heard good things so let's get to it so far the lines have been really really good for us I don't know if it's just good luck because it's a Thursday but uh if you're looking right now this says it's about a 35 minute wait doesn't look like that up next scarecrow the reaping I'm loving this facade oh my god what what a facade right now. You got the scarecrow, and then over there you got the house. To the left, you can't really see it, but there is a cornfield, and there is a car over there. But uh, I'm really excited to see how this one's gonna do. <laughs> Looks terrifying already.
shit. What'd you think of uh, Scarecrow? That was so good. I got so scared. When we go back, you need to go first so I can see you get scared. That was great. <laughs> So we're back over here going through Hogwarts and Death Eaters are here. Yeah. Oh. Oh shit. Oh. Okay. All right, we are doing the Terra Tram finally. I'm excited to walk the back lot. Maybe my feet are not excited, but here we go. Pretty funny guy. Pretty crazy guy. He's known as Harry. He was a clown. It's 2016. Yep. There's some spooky stuff going on in our back. His name was. Hey Scott, Halloween is my favorite time of year. Gosh, gosh. Hello, boys and girls. It's your old pal, Coodles the Clown. Come on, the party is about to begin. <laughs> 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 Oh, oh. Now, that's 
Here you get a picture with the man himself, Hollywood Harry. It's kind of cool. It's like neat. <laughs> he said, hold it. Oh, oh God. Dude, thank you, Hollywood. <laughs> oh, no. We're gonna do Universal Horror Hotel next. Explain death continued to haunt the place as if all that blood from Maxie's murders had permeated the very bones of the building. It would hospitality with all the amenities of a modern hotel, including free Wi Fi.
So what you guys are about to see is one of the largest stilts ever. the actual courtyard where you can grab food uh, and kind of just hang out, chill, get away from the scare actors. It's like a party atmosphere. It's kind of cool though. Uh, we're going to hang out here, try to get maybe some tacos and then uh, head back out. All right, so this is kind of the special menu they have here. I think we're going to try the tacos with the red sauce. We actually tried these earlier. They were really, really good. Yeah, they're like mini tacos. They're like kid-sized tacos. But uh, for the price, I think we had better food uh, earlier in the day. That was around this price. But uh, oh, of course. <laughs> good taco. Small portion, but good taco. Uh, the red sauce. 
decent, a little spicy. I'm just gonna say that. My mouth is tingling just a little bit right now. Spicy, yeah. So we are making our way to La Llorona. The tacos were very good. I'm interested to see how this house is gonna perform because, well, we haven't been with La Llorona in Orlando for quite some time, so I'm excited. La Llorona. My dream, I was in a church at night. So we are about to take a trip to the haunted forest. I'm not sure what's in there, but we'll see. We'll see.
This is what you can't get at our horror nights because they don't do anything over in uh, Dagon Alley. So it's just here in Hogwarts. Really appeals to the whole overall atmosphere here at Horror Nights. And I gotta say, I love their uh, Hogwarts at night. It's all lit up and the trees are glowing. All right, we are in line to do Universal Monsters Legends Collide again. 25 minute wait, so shouldn't be all too bad, hopefully. So that was the first time we actually experienced a cast chain situation here in or, uh, Hollywood. I was about to say Orlando, but uh, yeah, uh, second run through, April. Wasn't as good as the first, but there's some things that I got to catch this time that I didn't last time. Yeah. I got to take in the scenery, so that was good. Yep. I wasn't getting scared. Uh, excellent. Uh, Good run through, not as good as the first one. I agree with April on that one, but a uh, solid house. There's some great effects in there. Great times that you've seen all the characters there. You don't ever feel like it's overpowered. It's not just the Dracula house. It's not just the mummy house. They're all represented in different parts, which is really cool. Did you hear that Kali thing? Yeah. That was that was yeah. cool. Uh, the forest yeah, scene is excellent. The first time. Um, the, the scene with the, the assistant guy holding the amulet thing, yeah. that was cool. Yeah. Um, really good, so. There's a lot of scenes too where like all three of them are there. So that's really cool to see yep. that we don't have in Orlando. Uh, next we are heading up to the weekend bar. I'm gonna see what the pizza fries are like. I'm interested to see how it compares to our pizza fries. So it's very much like a party vibe up here. They got like, uh, you know, some uh, advertisements. You got some drinks. You got people chilling up here. I wish the pizza fries were probably not up here, but uh, yeah. So over here, we're waiting for the weekend bar. We had to wait for pizza fries, but What's cool is they actually have a little uh, photo op area up here, which is kind of cool. This is the only place you can get this up here. The weekend, after hours nightmare, weekend bar. That's really cool. Cool photo op. Got some blood and stuff, but we're waiting for a pizza fries. Uh, I was gonna get the seasoned fries because they're different, but it's technically just the fries with season on it. And I wanted to do a coast to coast comparison so we're going to see how the pizza fries are here. But uh, overall, I think it's kind of dumb that we had to wait in a long line for pizza fries up here. They should have sold them maybe somewhere else in the park, but yeah. All right, so what we have here is the Hollywood version of pizza fries. April pointed out uh, there's no sausage, little bite, little bite-sized sausage normally, but uh, overall, it does look like it has a good amount of uh, toppings. Uh, the pizza fries here were, I believe, $11.99. Um, that's before the tax, so. I liked the bites with um, sausage. sausage, so 
Oh, it's decent. It's not bad. Technically, this season of Horror Nights, I haven't had it in Orlando. So, we're going to have to go all the way back. We're just going to fly right now over to Orlando to do a coast-to-coast -coast comparison. So far, I got to agree, the little bites of sausages make it a little bit better. Maybe the size portion of it feels close. Uh, it feels more. I feel like the other bowl is like smaller. I feel like they just put a lot of toppings to make it seem like it's more, yeah, but it they feels definitely, like more fries. They definitely don't skip out on the toppings on this one. It's very smothered because Orlando sometimes when you eat, you eat all the toppings and then you're left with just fries and maybe some marinara sauce. All right, so we are heading into Scarecrow the Reaping. It's actually like a 20 minute wait because it's like now one o'clock on Hollywood's time, but somewhere along the lines of uh, 4 a.m. on Orlando's time. So, oh man, we are powering through this night. And we're gonna do this one. And then Halloween, I believe, will probably be our last house of the night because there's just no more time left but so far as you can see really non-existent of a line so i'm excited to get back in here we had a good run through the first time so uh yeah let's see how this is going to be the second time around <laughs>
Get me out of here. Huh? Get me out of here. 